what if I had the square root of 50? Well, off the top of my head, I know that 2 times 25 will give me 50. Can't do anything more with the 2, but I know that under 25, 5 times 5 will give me 25. Okay. And look at here. I found a pair. So I pull it out of the radical, 5, but this 2 is left all by himself. You can't get rid of him. You can't ignore him. So you just put him right back under. 5 times the square root of 2 is exactly the same number as the square root of 50. What if I have the square root of 48? Okay, I know that 12 times 4 gives me 48. I also know that 3 times 4 gives me 12. And I also know that 2 times 2 gives me 4. And that's as far as I can go down the tree here. Over here, I know that 2 times 2 can give me this 4. And when you're looking for your pairs in a, in a chart that has this many levels to it, you want to look for your pairs in the lowest, kind of in the lowest area. You want to draw kind of a dotted line in your head here. You want to look for pairs in all of these numbers that, that you've made there at the very you know, bottom, the bottom most area. Okay? Here I have a pair, which is 2. Here I have another pair, which is 2. So I'm going to use that. Okay, I'm going to say this is equal to. This 2, I'm going to pull it out, 2. Now I've got another 2, and I'm going to pull it out. When you pull it out, it just becomes multiplied with the first 2 that I pulled out. And then underneath the radical, I've got my lonely 3, which nothing ever happened to it. 2 times 2 is just 4, and I just keep my, my 3, my square root of 3, and that's the answer, 4 times the square root of 3. Not bad, right? Not too bad. So, you just think of in your head what can multiply with whatever else, and you go from there. Let's move into something a little bit different. What if I had something like 25 times x, square root of 25 times x? Okay. Well, what I'm trying to do here is um, I'm going to do it like this. 25x is just 25 times x, right? That gives me 25x. Under 25, I've got 5 times 5, and that's as far as I can go. Of course, x, that's as far as I can go there, okay? I've got a pair right here, so I pull it out of the radical, and I put a single 5 down, but I've got to carry my x over here because it's lonely and there's nothing else I can do with it. It's got to stay under the radical. 5 times the square root of x. I show you this problem just to prove to you that there's nothing special about the letter here. It's just a, another symbol for a number, so you've got to carry it along, just like you, you would expect. What if you had something a little bit more complicated, like the square root of a squared b? Okay. Well, this is just simply equal to a squared times b, right? That's the definition. And then a squared is just simply a times a. So, what do I have here? I have a pair here, a and a. Of course, b is just all by himself. So in the end, I pull the a out, and I leave the b in. a times the square root of b. And that's about all I can do with that. Multiply whatever's under there, a squared times b. A squared is a times a, and you just look for pairs.